Hello everyone, this is here. Today we're gonna make a render in Blender. So let's get started. There are two different ways you can load your character in Workspace. The first method is going to the Roblox avatar page, change your mode from R6, from R15 I mean, to R6. Or you could use a character loader plugin to load your character in R6. I made my own little plugin, so I'm gonna load myself in. Click on R6. To load yourself in. And here you have your character. You can modify your character if you want to. But yeah, now we're gonna center it to the to the middle. How we're gonna do that is insert quickly a part and change position to zero. Do we know where the zero position is? Make sure it's on top of the part. We're gonna look and try to make it centered so these are arrows, axis arrows are in the center. This means our character is at zero zero so the anchor point will be in the center of his torso. So let's export this character, you can change everything. I'm gonna just change the face. Let's export this. To our files, I'm gonna export it to my second hard drive. Videos, how to make a render in Blender. Files, let's call this um, corrector model. Saving, back to my hard drive. Let's close studio and go to Blender. All right, start a Blender. What you first see when you open it is the page. Just click next to it and let's press X so we can delete the cube, press 5, press 7, and let's go to File, Import, then our Wavefont OPG, then select your location, it's my Dutch Drive E, my videos, how to make a blender, files, and then the correct object. Import that, use your middle mouse button to move it, now we have a model and you see the anchor point is nicely inside its torso. Let's unselect by pressing A. Pressing D is 5 enabled. No, it's not. There we go. Just make sure we can focus on the character alone. And go to the little sphere and click on the material. This will show you a roughly correct model. It looks odd right now, but once we deleted this light, so let's do that. And let's see, can we as well? So let's texture, there we go. Just focus on it, there we go. That is our character in the 3D space. And let's edit it. So we're gonna edit, we're gonna click on the arm or leg or whatever. We're going to edit mode and we're going to the tool step subdivide. We're gonna press this maybe four or three times. So we get little cubes. These little cubes we can edit. I'm trying to get this nice in focus. Three and seven. There we go. Let's select the bottom top half, maybe? Yeah, use the B tool to select. Make sure we have one line, so it's this is top line. Then go to seven, or wait, which mode is the best? What, uh, press numpad one, press R, and then rotate it a little bit. Use the axis to move it back. Oops, I have lots of wrong there. To make it a bit nice. Select the bottom half as well. Rotate the same way. There we go. Now we see it's nicely curved. But you have this weird shadowing. How we're gonna fix this, we're gonna select this part by just doing this, go to the Objects Worth tool. Was it the Worth tool? I don't think so. 
let me find it really quickly it's called small thing we got the disable it's somewhere in these tabs here with the triangle with the three spears we click all the small thing off and this will fix everything so if we go into texture mode this is with all the smoothing off and this with all the smoothing on if we select this go to texture click on auto smooth off and it should glitch weirdly but right now it did recalculate so we can revert let's do it on the same on the other arm as well object mode let's focus let me don't move that but move side Press the lead focus, edit mode, press number one to focus in, press Z to make it to wire mode. Subdivide again a few times and then do the same thing again. Rotate it a little bit. Same here. Here we go. Uh, I perhaps press subdivide there we go let's rotate this you can even do a another one if you wanted to to make it nicer there we go let's make sure triangles are connected up above here Let's go back to object mode, the same thing here, edit mode, select all the polygons, press R to press delete to focus and R to rotate. Maybe add one more here. Now let's get back into our texture mode. There we go. Right now you won't see this, but if you go into render mode, you will see this shading weirdness. So let's go into rendered mode. Let's fix the lining because right now it's dark. Go to the sphere, okay, the, the globe. Click on Ambient Collusion and Environment Lightning. This will make it lighter and this will make it darker. I'll just keep Ambient Occlusion on. And you see it's nicely smooth and you see this weird black stripe. That's because we didn't turn it off the smoothing for that object. Let's go here, triangles and turn off auto smoothing. This will fix that. Let's as well do the legs, maybe. I want to select this object and focus in the center with this object. Edit mode, press E, and subdivide a few times. I keep pressing E, that will make a another surface I don't want. Let's make it nicely. What you can as well do is like, like this. The bottom half, make it like straight and then bring it a bit down it's nice flat with the floor you can do that with the bit go up go let me see it's nicely smooth and let's do the auto smoothing off again this click here again maybe not much there we go turn that off and then do the other leg really quickly object mode this edit mode press again sometimes subdivide 
Press it. One, two, three. Rotate. I should rotate a little bit. Grab the whole thing. Rotate it a bit on the other axis. Break it down and then rotate a bit. There we go, and then use auto smoothing, turn that off. Let's get back in object mode, material or texture mode. Focus on this one, press F5 to get in 3D mode. And here we have a nicely model. We could make it like the knees are a bit bent, but I like it so far. So well, I could. Maybe I'm doing that as well. Just going to the knees and then select this top half bit and then go to the tree. There we go. And let me see what this looks. Mm, not great though. Let's keep it like we had. There we go. Get it solid and then object mode. Here we have a our character with band limbs. And let's now make a render. How we're gonna do that is simply by using this camera. How we can look at the camera is by pressing F12. It will render a picture, or just it will snap the frame we're looking at, and then it we can use this frame uh, to render. and save that render. So let's just select this model. Press F7 to go in the top view. Press R and rotate it towards the camera and press F12 to see how it's looking. Now we're gonna go like this. Maybe rotate something like this. Well, this is out of focus. A little bit out of focus. This is almost in focus there we go this should work that's in focus now we could bring it back or more to front to get it closer or more in the back to get it away i think this is works but now we want a transparent background how we're gonna do this i'm gonna set my frame set to 100 60 bit and i'm gonna go to shading and click on alpha and click on transparent what this will do it will render a picture as transparent now let's save this object because we're almost done just what we're gonna do is press f3 to save it go to the location where you want i want to go to my documents or my dutch drive where i set my external drive i store videos and stuff on Put this into file folder. Let's call this United or Ren their red corrector. G. Save this image. And there we go. To get out of this rule, press F11. And there we go. That's how you make a render. You can render stuff like models easily by exporting them. Same, same thing. It will store color as long as it has the MTL file. It will store the colors, the materials, etc. Just follow these easy steps. And then you got yourself a nicely done render. I hope you enjoyed this video. Next week I will try to publish how to make a battle real video too. And yeah guys, make sure to subscribe and like. Share with everyone you know. So we can get people to know how to make renders. And yeah, I see you guys in the next time. Bye bye.
A big thank you to our Patreons on patreon.com slash dutchpepper for supporting this channel. If you want as well to support this channel, make sure to look in the link down below.